how are you all? Welcome back to my channel and to a video I haven't done in a very, very long time. I used to make these videos so often back in the day, back in the COVID days, because I loved doing food shops and writing recipes up and filming them. And I still love doing it, but life gets busy and I have not had a minute to feel like this year to even blink. And this feels like one of the very first full food shops we're doing in a while. We're really trying to get back on building meals, um, making meals, using up what we've got in the cupboards, fridge, that kind of thing. So really trying to be a little bit more savvy when it comes to food shopping because obviously things are more expensive than they used to be. And um, when life gets busy, sometimes things slip. So we've been using HelloFresh, which has saved so much time. But this week we are doing a full grocery shop. So I thought I'd take you guys along to that you can come and join me get a little insight into what i'm going to buy this week always said this but i think it's a really good idea to plan your meals for the week and have a look to see what you've got in your cupboard so let's have a look and see what we've got so this is our dry store cupboard this is like where we keep all of our jars and that kind of thing so the spices we're really good for at the minute we've got loads of sauces and that kind of thing uh we've got a random tin of bamboo shoots there some beans what else have we got We've got some condensed milk. I think I was going to make some shortbread with that. Some Literally some millionaire shortbread. So maybe I can make that this week. We've got a tin of tuna. Let's see what else we've got. Maple syrup. We've got some ramen paste. We could maybe incorporate that this week. I haven't really got a lot of dry, so we could definitely do a stocking up on that. Up top is just crackers and that kind of thing. Pastas we are somewhat okay with. I've got plenty. Uh, I've got enough conchilia. Maybe some penne could be good. I see an empty jar up there as well. So yeah, maybe I'll get some penne and some fusilli. Having a look in the fridge. I have not checked this at all. This is our fridge, just as it is. Um, Zara bought a big milk and it didn't fit in the fridge door. Um, yeah, we could definitely do some fruit top-ups. We've got a lot of Tupperwares going on, like some leftover cheese, some oranges back there, some grapes. This is Zara's little yogurt sachet she takes to work. We have a little radish. So yeah, definitely some things to be working on here. This pesto needs using up, so I can definitely think of a way to use that this week. And then freezer-wise, there we are. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a green leak here. Got some crumpets that need using. Peppers, definitely use those up this week. What are these? I think these are, yeah, we've got some sliced courgettes. Can definitely use those up too. Get some more frozen berries for breakfast. I always freeze the ends of loaves of bread to make croutons and breadcrumbs. Really good tip. What else have we got going on? Some gyoza, we can definitely eat some of those. Oh, and I've got some fish fillets that need eaten as well. So I've already brought a list throughout the week of things that we need, but what I do is compile this list onto my phone using the phone app because it's really handy. You can essentially like pinpoint and categorize and then tick off as you go rather than using the list because things like yogurt and tuna won't be in the same aisle in the supermarket to save you going back and forward. strawberry season at the moment so I'm gonna grab some lovely strawberries they are always very well welcomed look how well stocked these bananas are isn't that so satisfying wow I'm gonna take a big bunch we eat a lot of bananas they're really good just for energy and in smoothies I honestly think tomato is one of the best snacks this time of year. They're just so good. How nice are these? Like mixed baby tomatoes in all different colours. They've got some nice heirloom ones down here as well. I think I'm gonna get these. It'd be lovely for a bruschetta. The stir fry is such a great way to use up loads of veg, so I'm just gonna get some essential mushrooms and we've got everything else we need in the freezer. And as it is salad season, we are buying a lot more salads. Sometimes tricky with dates, but um we will use all of these in recipes this week, no problem. The rosé that Zara and I absolutely love, it's this French, it's almost like a rosé blush, it's gorgeous. It's on special for $6.95, so I'm going to get a couple of bottles because we're heading to Wales this weekend. And um, I thought that would be nice to take. The Waitrose Burrata is so, so good. It's the Waitrose number one. It is a little bit expensive, but honestly, delicious. This is my treat, we're going to have bruschetta one evening, so 
yeah, I'm gonna get some of that. I'm swapping my porridge for yogurt and granola recently, so I'm gonna get some natural yogurt. I'm actually shooting some content on Instagram for Waitrose for their summer campaign, so I'm gonna be getting some of these Halloumi Harissa kebabs to give them a try. They look gorgeous. I love having a look in the Waitrose homeware section. Some of their home bits are so reasonably priced. These any day Sunday glasses, only three pounds. They're lovely. Be great for like you know meringues, eating messes, ice creams. These salad bowls are gorgeous as well. Look how nice they are. I'm on a homeware ban until we move, but yeah, very very nice. These Waitrose crisps are some of our favourite. Their West Country cheddar are delish. They'll be good for car snacks. These Waitrose big home pastries are the biggest hack ever. They are so good to have stashed away in your freezer. If you've got friends coming around or you fancy a little treat, they are delicious. The regular croissants are really good and the butter pan of chocolates are amazing. And they are on special as well. They're very regularly on special, but yeah, really, really good value. Much cheaper than, you know, one croissant would be about £2.50, so saving a lot of money by them. I really like these um, Nestle protein yogurts as well. They're good as like a nice healthy snack, so I'm getting a couple of those, and they're on special too. That is me officially done. I'm gonna grab a copy of the Waitrose Food Picnic Magazine too. Someone always gets very excited when I come back from a grocery shop. <laughs> Hi Max, hello. Okay, so I've just unpacked the food shop and this is everything that we've got for the week. It is worth noting that we are out for the weekend and when, tonight actually, no, we're out tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to look over here and check the meal plan. So every week we write out where we are what we're doing, so Zara and I are both out this evening because we were off to the theatre, so we've got dinner booked at Le Bab in London. Tuesday we're having a stir fry with prawn crackers. Wednesday we're having a pesto and sun dried tomato tart with courgettes. Uh, Thursday is bruschetta with tomatoes and burrata. And Friday is salad and rice chickpeas with tahini for um, car snacks to eat on the journey to Wales. So yeah, this is everything, so I thought I'd show you everything that we got. The total came to 53.43. It does sound like a lot for a weekly that isn't really a weekly, but there are things in here that naturally we wouldn't buy every week, such as two bottles of rosé. <laughs> so, fresh produce, we've got some bananas, we use these in smoothies, and some strawberries as well. Also got a lemon for a recipe, sweet potato, a nice bunch of LM tomatoes, and then for tins I've got a tin of essentials tuna, a tin of butter beans in water, I'm going to film that for a recipe for Instagram, I've got a tin of baked beans and then two cans of chickpeas. I've got some sweet chilli sauce. I've also got some low fat natural yoghurt. Like I said, two bottles of this Vila Fern Rosé, which is so, so good. It's delicious and it's a really, really nice light rosé. £6.50, you can't go wrong. i got a pack of penne, some more basmati rice because we're running low. A um, little smoothie berry mix that I pop in my smoothies. A lovely fresh bunch of basil. I'm going to pop this and hopefully keep it alive. <laughs> uh, I've got two of the protein yoghurts, white chocolate. They are so, so good, nice and filling as well. Now these are a treat, these are gonna go in our freezer. We're gonna have one, when we fancy a real sweet treat, but these are Mars bar ice creams. They were on special, so I thought, why not? I got a little pack of Waitrose Central self and flour for some flatbreads. I also got some of these mixed British baby tomatoes. I just thought they looked really good and it would be nice on bruschetta. And then these summer Harissa Halloumi kebabs for an Instagram recipe too. With a red cabbage, I'm gonna do like a nice fresh slaw. Got an avocado, some close cut mushrooms, some little gem, sorry, lettuce, and then a bag of salad, just regular butterhead salad, and then some West Country cheddar and caramelized onion crisps. And then of course, a copy of the Waitrose Food Magazine, and then also the Waitrose Weekend, which you should definitely get if you are in store. It comes out every single week. This one's all dedicated to pride and some gorgeous recipes that I cannot wait to have a little look through. So I'm gonna pack all this that we're, give the fridge a good clean, sort through, decant any dry store goods, and then we are ready for the week.
Right, so we are on meal number one of the week. I think I'm going to film two, maybe three. We'll see how we go. This is all going to be recipes from leftovers. So we've got some ingredients and I've added to what we've already had. So let me show you what we've got. So we actually got these noodles and they are, as seen on Dragon's Den, they look really good. They are Yogi Yo uh, Udon noodles. And then we got this peanut satay sauce. So we are cheating a little bit, but had some chopped up peppers left in the freezer. So I'm going to use some of those up. Got a red cabbage. I'm going to shred that up nice and thinly. We had, if I can do this one handed, a half a red onion to use. So we're going to use that up. We had a little bit of ginger left over and a chilli that has started to go a bit wrinkly. Some broccoli that we had in the freezer as well. So we're going to use some tender stem broccoli. And some coriander that is definitely on its last legs. So yeah, that's going to be all made up into a really lovely, delicious, fresh, light stir fry. I want a bit of lime juice, maybe. Do we have a lime? Uh, I think there might be a lime in the fridge, actually. Ooh, Correct. Lime. lime. Fantastic. Oh, zested preza. There we are, another leftover. Great news. Right, let's get cooking. Right, so we're going in with um, frozen broccoli. This is just tender stem. We're just going to give it a quick blanch. This is boiling water. And then we're going to use these udon noodles. I think they're meant for ramen, but obviously we aren't. Oh, they're in a pack of the packet. Um, I've got a little sauce. Obviously, we aren't going to be putting them in ramen broth, so we're just going to put them straight into the water. It's a packet for me, and then a packet for Zara. I love udon noodles. I think they've got a nice texture to them. Okay, so we're adding some oil to a pan, and so you can use any type of oil you like, rapeseed. I got told you're not supposed to cook with sesame seed oil, but I usually do, but I'm not going to anymore because... Said who? Someone said. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. so we're going to mince in some garlic, so we're doing three garlic cloves, straight in. And then we've got the thumb-sized piece of ginger. I love ginger in stir fries. I feel like it adds like a nice warmth, so just grate that in. If you don't have a microplane, you can use a cheese grater or you can just finally um, slice it with a knife. And then we're just going to finally chop up a green chilli. This one was kind of past its best, but I find it easier to do matchsticks like that and then just run the knife through. I always think stir fries have got to have a little bit of acidity, a little bit of sweetness and a bit of heat. And that's just going in. Lovely. And then we're going to finally slice up a red onion. And then we're going in with the red onion. With the red cabbage, you're just going to take the end off and then peel back the outer leaf just because I feel like that's a little bit tough. So we're going to use that this evening and then just plunk your knife through it nice and thinly. We want a reasonably high heat, not to burn the garlic, but just enough to get it gone. And I'm going to add in the red cabbage. Lovely. Just going to chop up some coriander. This really did need eating because it's kind of on its last legs. Just going to check the noodles. Mmm, they look good. How's the broccoli come along? Yeah, that's done. These are just pre-sliced frozen peppers. Um, so we're going in with those as well. Just give that a little toss. Just make sure that all is nice and coated. And then with some lime juice. This is your acidity. Right, we're adding in the udon noodles with the broccoli. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, we've got soy sauce for seasoning. I love soy sauce. And we are cheating slightly with the peanuts that it mix, but it is literally just peanut butter. And then, um, presumably just some kind of oil. Mmm. And just toss all of that together. Fresh coriander going in. A little stir. I'm ready to plate up. You can, of course, add some protein to this if you want. You could do some tofu, um, chicken, fish, prawns, anything you like, really. It smells amazing. Finishing it off with some peanuts on top, and then a bit of coriander on top, and a wedge of lime. Right, gonna go in for the taste test. These udon noodles look so good. Mm. Mmm, that's delicious, so light and fresh, made from predominantly leftovers.
Okay, so it's the next day and for dinner this evening we're having, this is like the leftovers of leftovers, so we're having a pesto and sun dried tomato tart with salad. It's really warm in London, so I thought this would be the perfect meal. So here's all the ingredients you're gonna need. Okay, so this is everything you're gonna need. You might notice that I actually didn't show this just roll pastry in the supermarket because I forgot to actually put it in the trolley and I scanned it, but then put it back on the shelf. Sensible, I know. Anyway, we had some frozen uh, sliced courgettes in the freezer that we're gonna use. I'm gonna fry those off. I've got two jars of sun-dried tomatoes. I don't know why two are open. I blame Zara. A nearly finished tub of pesto, this from Costco. Some cream cheese that we're gonna stir with the pesto and layer that on the tart. Loads of lettuce leaves that need eaten and an iceberg lettuce. The end of a cucumber, a full cucumber, and lots of lovely alien tomatoes that we're gonna slice and pop on top of the tart and finish it off with some fresh basil. So let's go. Okay, so I've rolled out the pastry and I'm gonna do about a centimeter border just around the outside. It just kind of acts as like the crust. You don't cut all the way through, but just enough, more like the weight of the knife just to allow a border. And then you brush that with olive oil and it makes it go super crispy. I've got an oven tray preheating in the oven as well, which helps with the crispy bottoms too. So I'm just folding over the edge where I've just cut, folding the sides. You don't need to do this, I just feel like it looks quite nice and it gives a good border for all of the ingredients. So for the base, I'm just using this Waitrose Essential Cream Cheese. This is like the leftovers of it, there's not really much left. You don't really need a lot, just a nice even layer. So I'm just gonna pop that into the bowl. If you are vegan and you wanna make this vegan, you can use plant-based cream cheese. Um, I recently tried that from Philadelphia, it's made with oat milk, it's really good. So there we are, that's the cream cheese. And then this is just regular basil pesto. We actually got this from Costco. And we have gotten to the end of it. So very pleased with that. We've officially ate 450 grams of pesto and I have no regrets. So I'm just gonna add that to the cream cheese. And then just stir all that together. And that loosens up the cream cheese. This would be a really nice pasta filling actually. If you had some fresh pasta, you can make ravioli with this. And then I'm just trimming the end of this iceberg lettuce, get rid of the root. And then we're gonna give this a wash in our salad spinner, and this is just gonna be a nice light side salad. Slicing up some tomatoes, different uh, colors. It looks like a grape. It does, doesn't it? Really nice. These were from um, Waitrose. And we're gonna do a couple more, and then we're gonna do some sun-dried tomatoes as well. So I've got a frying pan on the heat, I'm gonna add a little drizzle of olive oil. If you had fresh courgette, you could just leave it as they are, but these are frozen, so we're just gonna thaw them out in the frying pan and then um, add some salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna spread the pesto and cream cheese on the base of the tart. This works really well with butternut squash as well, so if you've got some roasted butternut squash left over, you can do that. Or any flavored cream cheese, sweet chili. Okay, so we're adding the sun-dried tomatoes now. Just dot those all over. Okay, and then we're just gonna add the courgettes on top. These got some lovely color on them. We're gonna grind some black pepper over the top. Good pinch of salt, because the courgette's needed, but the pesto is quite salty. We're actually using some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes just to brush on the outside. It saves you using your extra virgin olive oil, and um, it's just as good, it's just to get a nice bit of color on the pastry. Okay, so the oven tray has been preheating, so I'm just gonna pop this on. Roll off the pastry. There we are. It's gonna go into the oven. Okay, the tart has come out of the oven. I've just popped some fresh basil leaves on top and then I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil over the top of that as well. It's extra virgin olive oil, really, really nice. How big of a slice would you like? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just pop that on your plate. And a bit of sides. Right, we're gonna go in for the taste test. So good, really nice and light and perfect, for like warm. Summer's evening, great to take to like a party as well if you want to just take like an, an offering, it's not traditional. Here we go. Mmm, perfect. And there's a lot of leftovers as well. Mmm, oh that's really good. Right, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will link the recipes in like the written out um, form in the description box as well as to Waitrose as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's good to film these again. And I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.